This is Shaitali Bagh, the Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe. We are at Panbra Air Show 2022, happening after four years, and it's beaming with people, enthusiastic people. I'm fortunate to have with me Stefan Lagood, the partner to EY Global Aerospace and Defense Sector Lead. Stefan, welcome to our chat room, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So we begin much. with the questions directly to you. What do you think are the challenges that the aerospace industry is facing, specifically the post-pandemic era? So I think the, the, uh, the industry is now restarting and restarting with uh, renewed challenges. And I think the, uh, those challenges will be, uh, of course, around the uh, sustainability, the uh, workforce, the supply chain, and, and basically like restarting and like, you know, going back to the gym. Uh, after a period of interruption, like there's uh, some muscle pain and, and getting back on uh, back on track. But I think the, uh, with the atmosphere here at, at Farnborough, then we see that a very uh, active and a uh, lot of discussion and a lot of presentation and, and a lot of uh, news being presented. I think that's the uh, the industry is really back on uh, on track now on on those uh, key topics. That's great. It's it's nice to have such a positive attitude for the room. So according to you, what can be the recovery methods now? to revive the industry and get it to a better position than earlier? I think what the key word uh, here would be like cooperation, collaboration, uh, partnerships. Uh, I think there's a lot of champions, but also we see that the, uh, the ecosystem is, is absolutely uh, critical and building the ecosystem of innovation, of attracting, retaining talents. Uh, I, I think that those will be uh, making success uh, for the uh, for the uh, industry, so that's really that's cooperation, collaboration, making things together, uh, 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 sharing and, and innovating and uh, inspiring new talents for the for the industry. I think that that was going to drive the industry. Mm -hmm. So, Stephen, uh, do you think there has been a major setback in the last two years during the pandemic area for the industry? So, I think well, you know, rather than a setback, I would say like a pause, uh, rethinking and, and restarting. So, kind of. Uh, you know, taking set, you know, uh, rather than setback, I don't know how you say in the proper English, but you know, take the uh, 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 runway to have a, a, a bigger jump. Uh, and I think we see that with the uh, acceleration of the transformation, the transformation of the type of airframe, of uh, uh, fuel, uh, the transformation of the industry, attracting the different attract type of of uh, elements to attract and retain talents. And I think which means that's an acceleration of the, of the transformation uh, in the flying machines, but also uh, in the type of uh, fuels uh, and the ecosystem and the infrastructure on, on, on the ground uh, to support the transformation. And uh, I think I would like to emphasize a little more uh, the need for further transformation on the infrastructure. Uh, for instance, if I take an example, on the evolution of, of uh, fuels, like a, a, a quite large proportion of the aircraft are able to accommodate uh, sustainable aviation fuel, but in fact, the proportion of usage in the airline is pretty small, like in a one or two percent uh, uh, bracket, uh, because of the insufficiency of infrastructure. So I think you know the evolution of the uh, technology, the uh, the fuels needs to uh, uh, keep pace uh, with infrastructure, or rather the infrastructure should accelerate to keep pace with the transformation that is happening in, in, the, uh, in the industry. Great. In, sorry. That's fine. So, Stephen, I, re I, I went through your paper, I read your paper, and you discussed about the workforce, the lack of workforce. So, you comment on the workforce challenges that have been faced uh, by the industry right now. In spite of the lack of jobs, we still have, we still don't have people working. So what do you think? Is it the finance or the lack of technical acumen that is creating this void for the industry? I think, you know, the, uh, the situation we've, we've, we, we are facing on, on the workforce is, I would say, if, if I can dare a parallel, is similar to the, the situation we face on the uh, micro, uh, microprocessor and the chips. Like, all the industries are looking for the same type of people, the same type of skills, and then the pool of talent is not infinite. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's why, uh, coming back to what we were saying earlier, the, uh, the cooperation uh, is absolutely critical for the uh, acceleration of transformation in the industry because no single participant can attract all the, uh, the talent, but, but sharing, uh, uh, 
uh, partnering uh, would enable having the talent. And then, to go, going back to, to the other part of your question, I think there's a proportion of the attractiveness of the uh, of the industry. So giving a, a, a purpose to the uh, younger talent and inspiring new talent in the, uh, in the industry, I think is, is absolutely uh, critical uh, uh, for uh, to, to, to feel that need for, for talent. Mm -hmm. And to, sorry, to say uh, also a word on the, uh, I would say the diversity and inclusiveness, I think it's very important for the industry to have more diversified uh, talent, uh, both from uh, uh, national origin, so across the, uh, the world, to, to mirror uh, the uh, customers and, and the need and the expectation from the market. Yeah. Um, also, uh, that would require uh, having more women in the uh, engineering and scientific uh, studies and, and joining the, uh, the industry. So bring, bringing all those talents together, mm -hmm. I think is going to help accelerate uh, the industry and, and get better results. Great. So now we discuss the role of Ernst EY in building up the gaps that can help the aerospace and defense industry to go, grow up now. Yeah, so what we, you know, we are, we are doing a lot of, I would say, non-sector specific work okay. like tax, audit and, and, and so on. But I would like to insist on, on the uh, importance of uh, sector focus and particularly uh, in the strategy and the engineering uh, space. Uh, with our innovation hub, for instance, that we have engineering capabilities that help bridge uh, and, and make links between IP owners and users, identify uh, new uh, utilization or application for some uh, for some IPs that will help both uh, uh, grown up and, and large group, but also startups and, and, and uh, uh, developing. Uh, and against it, that we will be the, the champion of the future. So to make it short, is like traditional services, uh, but also engineering uh, strategy services that we can help and work with our clients. I would say hands in the in the oil uh, to help in the uh, in the innovation and, and uh, also attract uh, additional talent. But I would insist on, on those engineering and IP monetization uh, capabilities that we would like to bring to, to our uh, customers and partners. That's what EY is stressing on right at the moment. Absolutely. Great. So, second day of Fanbrier show. How has been the response from the industry? You have been meeting a lot of industry, I'm sure. So, how have been the response? I, I you? think, you know, once again, the, uh, the, um, the main keywords, you know, that keep uh, uh, coming to, to my mind is the uh, partnership. Like the uh, industry, and the various parts of the industry joining uh, joining forces for the innovation, for the attraction and retention of, of uh, talent. Uh, the thing that is very striking is solution does not happen with one part of the industry, but will will come from partnering with energy companies, infrastructure, talent, education, uh, and, and a lot on the uh, the, the, the customer end. So I think you know that the word of ecosystem partnering. Uh, I think those, those are the key words for the industry these days. Great. So you are completely involved with the Umbrella Show. You're enjoying it thoroughly. Absolutely. That's that's fantastic, and that's that's great to be uh, again uh, in person. And yes. Seeing the uh, the beautiful English weather. Yes. <laughs> a little hot, <laughs> uh, but also you know seeing the uh, the aircraft and, and right. what's happening in the industry. That's really a, a, a very inspiring uh, uh, evolution of the industry. So. Sure. I really wish the interactions you are having with the industry should be fruitful and you enjoy the show very much for the next coming days. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you so very much. much. Thanks. Have a nice Thank day. You. Thank you. you too.